Hey guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how to use trap statement in shell scripting. Now, the trap statement is relatively uh, tough to explain. So I'm going to take an example and then I will show you how we can use trap and why we should use trap. Okay. So I have an example uh, script here and the first line of this uh, script is to print the PID of the script itself. Okay, so dollar dollar symbol you can use to print the PID of the script itself, right? Now, the other code here is a while loop and basically what it's doing is it's uh, just looping around and I have provided the 10 second delay in every loop so that uh, you know after every 10 second it's going to loop around and print the value of count here until and unless the value is less than 10 and if the script is uh, run successfully after for example 100 seconds we will uh, just exit out of uh, the script with the exit signal zero right so let me run the script and let's see what happens. So I'm going to run the script and you can see uh, the PID of this script is printed here, right? And then this script goes into this loop and after every 10 seconds, it's going to print the value of count, which is for example, one and then two and three and then four and five, right? Now, while running your script, some uh, scenarios can happen so while running your script user may press for example control c keys in order to uh, you know come out of the script so when you press control c to terminate the script is going to be terminated and our script is in the middle of doing something but we have provided this control c signal and then the script is ended right now this control c signal is called the interrupt signal and uh, in signal terms it's called sig int okay so we have sent the sig int command to uh, the script and then the script is terminated right once again i'm going to run the script and we can use uh, some other commands so right now the different PID is provided to this script while it's running, right? Before it was this PID and now this uh, script is running with this PID, right? And we can uh, press Control Z also, so Control Z and it's also going to stop the script and this Control Z signal is called suspend signal, okay? and it's uh, in signal terms it's called sig tstp okay so you can see uh, when i press control z the script is stopped and now uh, we are out of the script but this is also a interrupt signal so we have interrupted our script because our script was in the middle of doing something and we have given some signal to stop it right now, now once again I'm going to run the script for example so this time the PID is this one and once again it's uh, running and I can kill this uh, process by a kill command also so I know the PID of uh, this uh, uh, process for this script so I can just uh, use another terminal so this is the different terminal than this right so I can use the another terminal and I can just give uh, kill and then minus nine and this uh, minus nine is also a signal and it's uh, called sig kill uh, signal right so this is a sig uh, this is a kill command and this nine stand for sig kill signal and then I can give the name of the PID which is three seven eight four in this case you can see this is the PID right now right and when I uh, give this uh, kill command press enter you can see our script is killed once again 
it was in the middle of doing something but we have given a signal to it in this case we have given a sig kill signal and then the script is stopped right so there are some scenarios in which signals uh, our script is interrupted in the middle of uh, doing something and uh, it's not yet finished but some signal can come or some unexpected behavior can come which can interrupt uh, the execution of our script and that's why we use trap command now trap command provides the script to capture and interrupt and then clean it up within the script okay so now uh, when we use the trap command uh, our uh, trap command in the script will be able to uh, you know catch this kind of uh, for example kill command or control c or control z so it's going to uh, trap or catch this uh, kind of uh, signals and then uh, we will be able to do some kind of stuff before exiting out right so that's why we use the trap command now uh, we will take an example for the trap but let me show you something so so i'm going to just open the different terminal for example and this is a big terminal and here i'm going to write man 7 and then uh, signal right signal and then press enter and when i see the man page of this signal then i will be able to see more uh, you know explanation about these signals right now when i scroll a little bit down i will be able to see this kind of table i was talking about right so control c signal i have given in my case right so control c signal was this one interrupt from keyboard i have given uh, interrupt from keyboard which is control c and this is the signal for that which is sig int and every signal has its value so sig int has value 2 right uh, and then we have uh, provided control z also right which was uh, uh, sig tstp you can see this one was uh, the signal right and this stands for stop typed at at terminal right it has the value 18 20 and 24 okay and then we have provided this sig kill command and it has the value 9 so we have used kill minus 9 so this was uh, the value of uh, this signal so we have we could have used sig kill also and uh, the value of this is 9 right so we have given kill 9 so it was killed okay and these are some of the signals you can uh, use uh, to terminate your uh, you know process right so if you want to read more about the the signals then just do man 7 and signal okay man 7 and the keyword signal i'm going to just uh, close this terminal and let's take an example now okay so now what i want to do is i want to remove uh, everything here and then what i need to do is i will just use a trap uh, command just write trap and then uh, i will echo something so for example i can uh, just echo uh, that some exit command is detected right so i can just write exit command is detected okay and then i am expecting the signal zero from it okay so exit zero is a success uh, signal okay so you i have shown you uh, the signals have uh, their value and they are always greater than or zero right so if the signal sent here is zero then it's a success right so now what i'm going to do is i will just echo uh, for example hello world okay and i just want to exit out of the script so i, I can just do exit zero exit zero is a success signal right so zero is a success signal 
and uh, let me clear the terminal here also clear and let me run the script once again and when I run the script I can see here that the script is starting so what what is the execution uh, sequence here the script started it has seen that uh, there is a trap for some signal and trap means whenever we receive a signal zero then we need to execute this kind of uh, command whatever command is here it will be executed uh, whatever command you write after the trap signal okay so uh, the command is echo exit command is detected so this this is the command command echo is used and then this is printed when this signal is uh, cached which is on exit zero you know uh, command right now here once again uh, i'm going to just cut this code and i'm going to go back to our previous code so for example we had this code right and then we can uh, write trap here so trap and then we can uh, once again echo something so in this time uh, for example we are expecting uh, some other signal so for example uh, we want to detect that uh, it's a sig int signal we can just write sig int here or we can even write its value 2 okay 2 is the value of sig int signal and this sig int signal is for uh, you know delay uh, it, it's for interrupt the sig it's interrupting the sequence right which is control c so when i run the script once again the script will will start with some pid and then i will just press control c and then see what happens so it's going to print this value so whenever the signal is received is going to execute whatever command we write after the trap command so i'm going to just press control c and you can see you uh, it's printed exit signal is detected once again control c and it says ex exit signal is detected right and you can see uh, right now it's not you know coming out of the terminal i'm giving this control c command uh, uh, so many times and it has completed its execution and uh, you know every time when i press control c its prints exit signal is detected right let me clear the terminal once again and now this time i want to uh, catch the sig kill command so you can either write uh, sig kill here or either write nine the value of sig kill okay so sig kill command and then i will just uh, run the script and i know the pid of it so i can uh, just use uh, this kill command with minus nine signal and then the pid of it which is four two nine six four two nine six right and then press enter and you can see uh, this process is killed and this time we don't uh, you know see this exit message As you can see it's killed but i told you that we can trap any command any signal and we can execute any command when this signal is received and i have sent this signal and nothing is printed right so there is some exceptions to the trap okay so trap cannot uh, trap or catch sig kill command and sig stop command okay so these two uh, you know signals it cannot uh, catch so whenever you write sig kill or sig uh, stop then trap is not going to catch them it, it's unable to catch them okay so these are the two exceptions okay so don't use a sig kill or don't catch sig kill or sig stop from your uh, trap command now let's take one more example and uh, let's understand uh, how it works okay 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, go into my desktop uh, or directory and I will do ls there. Okay, so there is only one script file there which is my script itself, right? So I'm going to create one uh, more file which is file.txt and this file is created. I'm not going to insert any data inside it. I will just ls once again and now we can see that this file is there, okay? Now I will do pwd to know in which directory we are in, right? And for example, this time what we want to do is whenever we receive any signal, we want to delete this file somehow, okay? So how can we do it? So I'm going to declare a variable file, for example, and then I'm going to give some value to this file. So I will just take the complete path of uh, this directory desktop directory and the name of the file right so just copy this and paste it here okay and this time instead of uh, echoing something i will just do rm minus f to force the deletion and then the file variable name which is file itself okay and you can uh, after removing you can exit out of the script so you can just uh, give this semicolon and exit command to exit out of the script right so this semicolon is used to combine two commands if you know uh, how they works right now i want to catch some signals so for example i want to catch the success signal which is zero and then for example i want to catch the control c signal which is 2 sig int and then for example i want to catch the signal 15 which is sig term signal which is termination signal or even you can uh, do 9 also for example for sig kill or any other signal right but 9 will not work here because uh, sig kill is an exception right so I want to just remove this file whenever I send either of these signals. I can do this, right? So I'm going to run this script and script is running. And now I will just press uh, Control C for example, or let me uh, just give this uh, 15, which is uh, sig term. So I know the PID, so I can just give kill minus 15 and the PID which is 1 uh, which is 5633 right and then press enter this signal is received in this script and then uh, we are exited out of the script and let's do ls once again and you can see uh, that this file is removed okay so you can uh, do that also so if you want to remove a file or you want to do any cleanup you can do uh, with the command and then you can just uh, catch that signal and then do the cleanup right and uh, you could have done something like this so if the file is removed uh, successfully you could have used uh, for example and here and then you could have echoed for example file deleted right so you can just write file deleted something like this also you can do okay to know that uh, this uh, trap is executed okay so once again i'm going to touch this file and i will do ls now once again this file exists and once again i'm going to run the script and script is running and this time the PID is 5667 uh, so just do 5667 uh, and press enter and you can see here this uh, signal is received here and it says file deleted okay so the signal is trapped here and then let's see if the file is deleted or not yes file is also deleted okay so you can execute any command using trap when some signal is received okay now let's run the script once again and let me show you one more thing so script is running and then i just do trap here and then press enter 
and I can see here uh, that uh, there are some uh, traps or there is a list of uh, some traps right so this is the list from uh, these three traps are from uh, this script and this these three traps are uh, from uh, some other trap command I have given in the terminal right so previously I have given a trap command to test this trap and this is from uh, the tra trap command in the terminal uh, previously I have given and these three values are coming from uh, this script okay now the question is how we can remove traps okay because uh, we have set some trap and uh, whenever we use the trap command they are listed right so somehow we want to remove these traps also so how do we remove it so we can uh, just remove the trap by using minus and name of the signal so i want to remove for example these three traps then i can uh, just do trap minus and then these three signals whatever trap i want to remove so i do this and once again trap and then i only see these traps now okay so these three traps i have removed right so uh, this is how also you can uh, remove traps so this minus is for removing okay so this is how you can use traps in uh, shell scripting i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now